There he is. <laughs> All righty. Finally got ourselves a good fish. Gonna let her run for a second. How's it going, everybody? And welcome back to Tyler's Real Fishing. Today we're gonna talk about a question that I get quite often on social media, and that is, first let me get this fish in here. When flipping in and around heavy cover, what do you flip with? A beaver style bait or a jig to catch fish like this? Let's talk about it. How's it going everybody and welcome back to TRF. As we mentioned, today we're gonna to be talking about the difference and how to choose between a flipping style lure and a jig when you are fishing in and around heavy cover. So we're gonna talk about pros and cons. We're gonna talk about which one I choose. And of course, we're gonna get back up on the front deck and show you guys some fish catches from today's day on the water. But first, I wanna thank the sponsor of today's video and that is Angler. You guys know that I've worked with Angler for, I think it's like four years now. They're an incredible company that really is at the front of the tech technological side of the, the, the sport of fishing. Angler loves innovation and so do I. And so that's why I always have the Angler bullseye button on the tip of my hat. A lot of you guys have been asking what that is. I will be doing sometime very soon a in-depth detail on exactly what the Angler platform uh, offers uh, for us as anglers. But of course the bullseye matches with the intuitive smartphone Angler app for both Android and iOS and allows you to mark your fish catches on the water with a simple touch of a button and as you mark them it marks all the data that comes with that catch so of course what gear you were throwing if you have it linked to the app um, you can put in how big the fish is and then and along with that one button tap you get all of the weather data that comes along with that fish catch to help you guys put together your days better and become better anglers for next time so I will have all this linked below whether it's the bullseye or the uh, the angler app which is free all that will be linked below for you guys to check out but Let's talk about this stuff. Now today's video topic has been suggested a few times for me uh, in my DMs because of the bush flipping video I made. So if you guys missed that video, I explained how to flip shallow flooded bushes uh, in a lake like the one that I'm on today, Lake Whitney. And so today I'm gonna kind of expand on that, that topic of flipping bushes, flipping heavy cover, flipping trees. But I'm gonna talk about the two different lures that most people choose between uh, when they are flipping and why I think certain situations dictate certain lures. So looking at these two different presentations here, you can definitely tell that they are different. I think they accomplish the same general goal, which is to get fish out of heavy cover uh, and of course get you some dang biggins in the boat. But I think that they each have their own pros and cons uh, that I'm going to explain in this video. So we're going to put a pros and cons list here on the side of the screen. I'm going to try to be as concise as possible and explain why I think certain uh, situations dictate the use of either the flipping bait or the, uh, the jig. And so I'm going to call this thing the yeah, the flipping rig from now on, it is just, this here is a Strike King rodent. It is a beaver style uh, soft plastic little creature bait that is incredibly, that, that works incredibly well for uh, for flipping and pitching all across the country. And then the jig that I'm using is the Outcast Tackle uh, Cage Fighter jig. This here is the new flipping jig designed by Seth Fighter. Uh, and I will have all this stuff linked below as well as the combos that I recommend throwing both of them on. That way you guys can check those out and purchase them for yourselves. And so with the pros and cons list up, I'm going to start kind of reading off some things that I wrote down in thinking about these two lures. And the first thing is, is the, the water clarity. So if you are flipping around heavy cover, or I'm gonna kinda lump in uh, trees, grass, kinda any sort of cover that is not just open water, uh, water clarity is gonna come into, into effect. And I think, in general, a jig performs better in dirty water. And the reason for that is because, as we'll talk about later, it uh, it pushes a little bit more water than your average uh, beaver style flipping bait does. So the jig, just based on the skirt, uh, you know, when, it, when it's flaring as you're swimming it through the water, it is naturally pushing quite a bit more water, I believe, than the, uh, than the flipping bait. So pro for dirty water goes to the jig. Uh, pro for uh, the flipping bait goes to clear water. And remember that these pros and cons are anecdotal. So they are not always going to be completely accurate for your body of water. I'm just going on the uh, the data that I have collected throughout my years of, of fishing experience. This is the pros and cons list for these two baits for me. The second comparison is which one is more lifelike? Which one actually represents the bluegill that both of these lures in most cases are meant to represent? And I think the jig is a little bit more lifelike. I think if, not that I'm a fish, because 
Not that I'm a fish, I'm not a fish. I am definitely not a fish. So I don't exactly know what goes through their tiny little pea brains, but I can assume that a jig falling through the water with the varying of the colors of the skirt, a little weed guard here that could look like a, a fin of some kind, a, a dorsal fin, and then of course your trailer that could look like the tail. I think a jig looks a little bit more lifelike than the flipping bait. So pro for lifelike goes to the jig. But on the flip side of that, let's say you don't want something so lifelike and so full of action, you want something just like when you're throwing a soft plastic stick bait like the Ocho that has almost no action. And of course, the Rodent does have a good amount of action with the uh, the bulby type appendages here in the two big, uh, you know, flappy legs, whatever you call them. Uh, they definitely have some action, but I think this has less action going through the water than a jig does. So pro on finesse goes to the flipping rig. The next factor to compare is the weedlessness if that's a word, uh, of, of each two lures. So if you are fishing the rodent on a, a standard flipping rig like this, I have a quarter ounce tungsten weight, bobber stopper, and a four aught uh, flipping hook. And then the jig, of course, this is a, uh, I believe a half ounce. Is it half? It says on there, yes. Half ounce uh, out outcast um, cage fighter jig with, uh, of course, the standard everything. And then I have a, uh, a Strike King um, Rage Craw on here as the trailer. I think the weedlessness, of course, to an extent goes to the flipping rig. So pro for weedlessness goes to the flipping rig until of course your uh, your hook pop pokes through or you catch a few fish on the, the flipping rig and so the plastic starts to wear down, especially where the hook pokes through. That is where the jig, because of the consistency on where the hook point is and where the weed guard is, uh, that, that will outshine this in terms of weedlessness. But I think in general, if you're, if you're doing your due diligence and changing out uh, your soft plastics when they are getting uh, too hard for the hook to stay into, then I think weedlessness goes to the, uh, the flipping rig. And when talking about the hook, the pro for hookup ratio also goes to the flipping rig. I have just found that because this is a fully soft plastic body, I catch more fish per bite that I get. So my hookup ratio is better. I'm losing less fish on the flipping rig than I am the jig. Now, when you get a fish on the jig, usually you get them good. They have that jig down their mouth. You set the hook and you get them right in the top of the mouth. I definitely get a few different places of hook sets when I'm using a flipping rig. I get some in the tongue, get some in the side of the mouth. The jig is almost always in the top roof of the mouth, which is definitely the best way to hook them. But I think in terms of, and it's probably a pretty close race here, but in terms of getting the best hookup, I think the flipping bait gets that pro as well. Now this video's topic is mostly talking about uh, flooded timber and bushes, but if you are fishing around grass flats or any sort of you know heavy grass where you're punching or flipping grass, the flipping rig is always going to beat the jig for that. Except in a few circumstances in, in, in milfoil and in cabbage up north, I have found that the outcast series of jigs work incredibly well around grass but I think just in general across the country whether you're talking about lily pads or or hydrilla or pond weed anything like that I think the flipping rig gets the pro for grass fishing and we all know that on this channel I love to catch big bass and throughout the year I have caught way more big bass on a jig than I have a flipping rig I don't know what it is maybe it's because it's more lifelike maybe it's because it, it displaces more water but I found that a jig is a big fish bait and so if you just want to go for big ones, I would suggest flipping a jig in heavy cover. So the uh, pro for catches giants goes to the jig. And last but not least, we're going to talk about the cost. So if you are deciding whether to invest uh, for your local lakes, ponds, rivers in flipping baits, whether you're going to go for a flipping bait or a jig, I would say the cost barely goes to the jig. Now, of course, it depends what brand you're buying for the jigs and for the soft plastics, but I'm gonna go with Strike King for soft plastics, Outcast for jigs, because I work with both of those companies. Uh, and I think if you were to take a, a package of the Strike King rodents, it comes with six of them in the package. Uh, let's say you catch two to three fish on each one. I think three fish on each one is definitely pushing it a little bit. I think you could definitely get two fish on each one though. So that is at least 12 to 15 fish in a package that you caught, you know, of course the six lures provided you with 15 fish catches. And that runs you about, 
I don't know, four and a half or five dollars for that thing. So this jig, I believe runs you five and a half or six dollars. So it's a little bit more expensive, but I've already caught like six or seven fish on this thing and the skirt is still looking almost brand new. Of course, it's lost a few strands because that's what jigs do. A fish pulls on it. You, you, you set the hook and all he had was a skirt. So it rips a few pieces of the skirt off. But I think I could catch more than 15 fish on one jig. Of course, unless you smack it into the side of a dock and it breaks, I think the cost uh, efficiency goes to jig. So pro to jig for, uh, for cost effectiveness. So I'm pretty sure that I got it all. I could have missed something in terms of pros and cons, but uh, let, let these columns here do what they will. You know, I definitely use both interchangeably, uh, and in today's video, I'm going to attempt to catch fish on both of them, uh, but there's definitely certain situations, like I mentioned, where the jig outshines the flipping bait and the flipping bait outshines the jig. So uh, let's hop on the front deck and see me catching some fish on these things. There's one. Come on. Little squirt. Like I said, the uh, beaver style bait definitely gets smaller bites, but definitely gets more of them. Now, I've caught plenty of big fish on beaver style baits, but I think for the most part, this is kind of your, your numbers sort of flipping bait to find where the fish are, are schooled up at. Still get some good though, that's for sure. Not going to worry about hooking them up. But uh, yeah, I think. Now that I found an area that has a few fish in it, I'm gonna switch to the jig, see if I can't get myself some bigger bites. So far, so far, but so... Oops, there's one. Got him. <laughs> I knew he was there. Where's he at? There he is. <laughs> Heck yes, brother. Just had to downsize a little bit. Got ourselves a bite. See you, buddy. Ah. Well, folks at home, that is all that we have for you guys today. These fish are being awful stingy. I tried to get a few more on camera for you, but uh, they're not playing around. I switched up to the, uh, the Space Monkey, and these fish still didn't want none of it. But uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you learned something, please hit the subscribe button to join Team TRF. I love being out here on the lake, being able to teach you guys all the stuff that I learned throughout my adventures. And we'll see you all next time.